go play. Come on, man. Let's go. Two points from making history. Let's go. To be honest with you, we talk about it every day. You know, um, I told my assistant coaches, uh, myself, all of you, take an inventory of your two points. What, where are your two points? You know, we lost one game to Mount Pleasant by one point and one game to Fairfield by one point and reflect on film breakdown, game preparation, off-season preparation, you know, where is your one point? You don't have to remind anybody on this field what it takes to get to the playoffs. Two points. That was the difference that kept the Bloodhounds on the outside looking in a year ago. It really bugged us this year, feeling everyone's going to put forth a lot more effort to get that two points back. Everyone's doing stuff that can get us those two more points to get us into the playoffs. You come back to think about it, that we were that close, it, it, it gives you like some sort of feeling that uh, whether you deserve it or you don't. And I think this year we put in all the work, so them two points are definitely going to be made up. Not since 1988 has this program played beyond the regular season, but the overriding sentiment at Bloodhound Camp is a change in direction is imminent. The theme is accountability, top to bottom. That's the message we're trying to tell our kids is there's a lot of people we can trust out there now. So it, our success might be our ability to accept our role and really focus on the team aspects of the game so we don't have a kid out there for 120 plays. With more than 20 returning letter winners, it takes a while to list the team's strengths. You'll see what we mean. Wes Bernhardt provides plenty of matchup issues at tight end, while Coach McGackie must choose between two capable QBs that will hand off to Ben Vocherbeck, among others, in the rush game. Defensively, the depth chart is stacked at linebacker, and the attitude of the team will ensure the D-line and secondary can say the same by season's end. All the way through, we're solid as far as experience goes, and it just it comes down to do we have the grit to pull out the tough games. And there's the X factor. Will this team learn what it takes to close out in the fourth quarter? If they can, that dark 25-year cloud disappears. Because as any player or coach on this team will tell you, it's time. I'd say just keep working at what we're doing. It'll take care of itself, I think. The whole team's buying in, and we're working on those situations to close them out. Yeah.